Hello there friends and welcome to my channel, hope that you enjoyed this video. The digestive system is one of the most important and largest systems of the human body, which is responsible for taking food, mechanical destruction, digestion and absorption of food, as well as eliminating undigested substances in the body. The digestive system includes rectum, large intestine, small intestine, pancreas, stomach, liver and gallbladder, esophagus, and various salivary glands near the mouth which help digestion process. The first stage of food digestion starts from the mouth. When the food is chewed and crushed in the mouth and you swallow, your tongue pushes the food into a root. A small flap of tissue called the epiglottis falls over your windpipe to prevent choking and the food passes into your esophagus. Once you begin swallowing, the process becomes automatic. Your brain signals the muscles of the esophagus and prostatus begins. It will take 2 to 3 minutes for the food to pass from the esophagus to the stomach. When food reaches the end of your esophagus, a ring-like muscle called the lower esophageal sphincter relaxes and less food passes into your stomach. This sphincter usually stays closed to keep what's in your stomach from flowing back into your esophagus. After food enters your stomach, the stomach muscles mix the food and liquid with digestive juices. After 4 hours, the stomach slowly empties its contents, called chyme, into a small intestine. The small intestine is a long tube that is located under the stomach as a spiral structure. The length of the small intestine is about 7 meters. The muscles of the small intestine mix food with digestive juices from the pancreas, liver and intestine and push the mixture forward for further digestion. The walls of the small intestine absorb water and the digested nutrients into the bloodstream. As prostatus continues, the waste products of the digestive process move into the large intestine. The total of the process performed in the small intestine will last about 4 hours. The large intestine is thicker than the small intestine. This member also has a spiral structure and its length is about 1.5 meters. Waste products from the digestive process include undigested parts of food, fluid and other cells from the lining of your GI tract. The large intestine absorbs water and changes the waste from liquid into stool. Prostatus helps move the stool into rectum. The lower end of your large intestine, the rectum stores its stool until it pushes its stool out of your anus during a bowel movement. Thanks for watching, tap the like button to support me and don't forget to subscribe me for more medical and health contents.